welcome to my YouTube channel where every episode I take a physics topic and hopefully explain it in a really simple and understandable way. Now some episodes are just going to be fun physics facts but most I'm going to try and tie in to the current school curriculum. So when that's the case I'm going to put the key stage in the episode title. Have any of you ever wondered what on earth causes rainbows and all the pretty colours? Well stay tuned because this is exactly what I'm covering today. Did you know that white light is not just the one white coloured light? It's a combination of all the colours. If you don't believe me, then you should see for yourself by shining a white light through a prism, which is like a glass object in the shape of a prism, and a prism is like a 3D triangle. Anyways, you shine the light ray through this prism, or even a raindrop, and the light ray will get dispersed, so split up into the full spectrum of colours. And this full spectrum of colours is called the rainbow effect. So it shines in white, and it will come out the other side of the prism split into seven different colours. Anyone remember these colours and their order? So it goes red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. There's a really easy mnemonic to help you remember the order and it goes Richard of York gave battle in vain. So now we know where rainbows come from. So when it's raining and the sun comes out, the light travels through the raindrops which act like a prism and diffract the light, producing all seven colours in a beautiful rainbow. I bet you're now wondering what causes the colour of a light wave. Well, lucky for you, I have the answer right now, and it's all to do with the frequency of light. The frequency of light is the number of waves passing a point per second. And it's very much like the electromagnetic spectrum that I showed you in my redshift episode. If you remember, with the visible light spectrum, the lowest frequency of light produces a red colour, all the way through orange, yellow, increasing in frequency to green, blue, indigo, all the way to the highest frequency of light, which is violet. Right, so has anyone ever been to a disco? They have these coloured lights everywhere, just shining on the dance floor. Well, to get this effect, they use coloured filters. These filters only allow one colour of light to pass through them. So all bar one colour are absorbed by the filter and the lucky one gets to pass through and produce that colour of light. This principle applies to coloured objects as well. So objects are coloured based on what lights they reflect. For example, <laughs> this green coat will be green because it absorbs all the colours bar green which it will reflect. And same for these red socks. They will be absorbing every colour but will reflect the red light. How cool is that? But when it comes to black and white, it's slightly different. White objects reflect all the light. I mean, that makes sense because we found out earlier that white light is a combination of all the colours. And black objects actually absorb all the colours. This is why wearing black clothes makes you hotter, because it absorbs everything and heats you up. Last little colourful nuggets of information for today is that objects can seem to change colour under different coloured lights. So in white light, objects look the colour they're supposed to be, because every colour is available to be reflected. For example, my orange sunglasses case. So when white light is shone on it, it can reflect orange and absorb all the rest. However, if it was shone with another coloured light, i.e. using our colour filter trick, then it would appear black, because there wouldn't be any orange light for it to reflect, so it would just absorb all the coloured light shone on it. The only exception to this would be if orange light was shone on it, then it would be bang on. There we go, all the colours of the rainbow. Thank you so, so much for listening. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did and you wanna learn about other cool physics facts, then please like and subscribe and watch all of my other videos. And if you wanna learn about a specific topic, please leave a comment below and I'll try to do a video for you.